Hey all you addicts out there, welcome back to another Addicted Fishing tutorial. My name is Jordan Kanigi and if you guys have never seen this channel before, we're Addicted Fishing. We do all kinds of educational, inspiring and entertaining videos of all kinds of fishing all over the world. Today's a little educational piece and what we're talking about is how to catch trout on salad shrimp. One of the oldest tricks in the book. Right here, we go to the store, get yourself some salad shrimp. And we're gonna show you the setups, we're gonna show you how you wanna rig, how you wanna fish, and the most effective ways to use these little shrimp to go out and catch trout. We're gonna bring it to you guys right now, stay tuned. So first and foremost, quickly, we're gonna go over the three different setups that you guys wanna to use to fish these salad shrimp. They're basically your three basic trout setups. Whether you're gonna be fishing from the bank or from a boat, these are the three techniques that you're gonna to wanna to have on the boat with you while you go out fishing. So first and foremost, the most basic, I'm gonna start with the bottom fishing technique. The rod I have here is a two to six pound ultralight rod. You want a nice sensitive rod because it's a lot of fun to fight these little fish and it helps you cast a long ways with minimal weight. I have a 3000 series reel with some braided line on here, anywhere from 10 to 20 to 30 pound test. And what I have for this bottom fishing setup is pretty simple. Probably the easiest setup you can do. It's just a sliding weight that goes on my main line, slides right up and down. You do a barrel swivel on there to stop that weight from going over your leader. So you have to make sure the hole on that weight is smaller than your barrel swivel so that it doesn't slide over and go down onto your hook. But I'm gonna go sliding weight down to my barrel swivel to a, about a 10 to a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. I like the fluorocarbon because it's very invisible to the fish. And then I'm gonna go about four feet of that leader down to a number two must add bait hook. And this has the little spurs on the back of it so that the bait stays on there and holds onto that shrimp while you cast it out. The shrimp are very durable. That's the nice part about using these, sand, or these uh, salad shrimp like this is because they're very durable. They can allow the fish to get and bite them and, and chew them up really well, but they stay on your hook and it still stays effective because you have that smell and that, that meat on the hook still. So that's the bottom fishing setup. Jumping right over to the other setup that's really, really good from the bank that allows you to fish different water columns is the same two to six pound rod, but with a sliding float set up. So I have what I what I have on here is a bobber stop. You can see I have it way up in my main line set at about seven feet here. This is the little rubber stop or any kind of nail knot or a different kind of, of thread bobber stop that you can buy that you're gonna put on your line, you're gonna pull it tight and you're gonna slide it up and down your line to register the depth of the sliding float come all the way down my main line. This is a half ounce to a three eighth ounce float. You can go smaller, you can go half ounce, you can go quarter ounce, you can go down whatever amount of weight you're gonna be using to fish for these trout. This is a sliding float, so it goes up and down to wherever I set that bobber stop. Down to, again, my half ounce weight with, a, with another barrel swivel, another three foot leader down to my bait hook. And this is the good float setup because you can fish different depths in the lake. You might have a hole in the lake that's 15 feet where it's a big pocket, or you might have a big shallow shoal where you need to be fishing at two feet. And with this setup, you can fish all those different depths and still have an easy cast if you're gonna be fishing in a deep depth so that you don't get tangled up and have your stuff not effectively fishing out there. So the slide float setup is another really good one from the bank. Last but not least is a trolling setup. What I have here is a, a four to eight pound trolling rod. This is an Okuma black rod. And I have a wedding ring set up on this. So what I have is the same kind of bait caster reel. This one's a little bit bigger than you need for this reel. This is an Okuma cold water reel with a line counter. And the line counter is what's important to me here so that I know my depth. I have my 20 pound test all the way down to my barrel swivel. And this one I have the same thing, but I connected that slide weight onto the line a little bit differently so that I can move back and forth with my weight here and allow me to troll and when I get a bite not have that fish pulling against the weight but actually pulling against the rod. So I got about a three foot leader down to my wedding ring setup and a wedding ring setup is pretty neat uh, because all you have to do is really, it's a good flashy presentation to be trolling with. And again, this is the, this is the method you're gonna be using out of a boat or a kayak or some sort of propelled device in the lake that you can actually troll around and pull your setup around the lake. Uh, but down to the wedding ring here is very simple very uh, effective method of, of fishing for these trout. It's got a nice little French blade on there with some beads and that ring in the middle, that wedding ring, is what makes this thing so popular and gives it its, gives it its name. The, the hook that this comes with is very tiny. It's like a number two, uh, very ineffective hook for what we're doing here today. So I've actually cut that off, put a number two must add bait hook on there again um, to be able to hold on to that shrimp and allow me to fish through the, air, through the water column. So those are the three setups that you're gonna want and that, that are gonna allow you to catch these fish most effectively. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna jump on the helm. I'm gonna show you guys how to fish from the bottom, how to fish a subsurface with the slide float. And we're gonna try to catch a few fish for you guys while we're out here too. 
So what I'm gonna start with showing you guys here is fishing it from the bottom on our bottom fishing technique with, the, with just the slide weight and our hook. So what I'm gonna do to keep this salad shrimp off the bottom is I'm gonna add a little foam, foam corky and you can find these at any Walmart or pretty much anywhere in the US or in the world, just a, basically a, a little piece of foam with a, any kind of different green, yellow, red, blue, any color that you have preference to on that lake. Now I'm gonna slide that right onto my line and then I'm gonna tie my hook on because we're gonna need something that's gonna float this salad shrimp off of the bottom because it doesn't float. So if we cast out there with this bottom fishing technique, it's gonna lay flat on the bottom and it's never gonna catch any fish. Go ahead and move this here, Turn this up. And the way I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna pick one of these big fatties here because we want them to have a nice little meal down there. The way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna run that hook right down through the meat about halfway through that shrimp and kind of wrap it around through the tail, back up onto the hook, kind of giving it that natural look of the same shape that the shrimp actually was to begin with. So just like so, we're gonna cast down there, it'll hit bottom, this cor corky will float up to the hook, float that meat up off the bottom and have us fishing really well here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cast out, see if we can get something going here. Okay, I'm gonna let line out until that hits the bottom. Thud, there we are. And then I'm gonna reel it tight, either get myself some kind of rod holder or anything else from on anchor. I can set my rod down in the rod holder. If I'm doing anything around off from the bank, I can put a little fork stick there on the, on the bank and set my rod up and get my line tight and then wait for a bite to register off that tip there. Method number two with my slide float, same thing. I'm not gonna need the corky this time though. I'm actually just gonna fish the naked shrimp. That way I have just a real simple, real delicate presentation out there, something for those fish to see as they swim by. And most of all, as you'll notice, once you go and buy these shrimp, something that they're gonna smell. A lot of it is the shrimp scent on these, on these salad shrimp that are really kind of keying in these fish to bite. So again, hooked through the back of that so it's laying perfect shape right there off the back of the, of the hook there. This spot here is only six or seven feet, so I'm gonna slide my bobber stop back up so that I'm not fishing too deep. Got it at about four feet there. And again, a nice delicate cast so that you don't throw that shrimp off. You only wanna see two splashes. If you see three, it means your shrimp's gone. I'm gonna let that sink down to where it's holding that bobber straight up and down. If your bobber's laying on each side, it's gonna mean that you're, you're either tangled or you're fishing too deep. So you wanna slowly work your way down towards the bottom and the shrimp sinks. So remember that, your, your leader's gonna go the length of itself down below the weight. So you wanna account for that length of leader to the bottom of the river or to the bottom of the lake or pond so that you're not just laying your bait on the bottom where those fish can't see it or get to it. So salad shrimp's fishing, you're gonna either set that rod down or you can hold it in your hand and drift with the boat. If you're stuck on the bank, if it's a windy day, you can actually walk it down the bank and cover a lot of water that way for these trout that are kind of hunting around and looking for food throughout the day. So I'm gonna have that set. And if that bobber goes down, I'm gonna set hook, keep my rod tip high in the air and hopefully keep that fish hooked until we get it into the net. So for my trolling setup, same thing, I got my wedding ring here. Gonna run that hook right through the back of the shrimp, making sure I get a big chunk of that meat so that it doesn't just fall off once I let it out there. Worst thing you can do is be fishing the whole time without bait. Just like so. Run it up my line. And with these shrimp on this trolling setup, you're gonna wanna have it a little more of an inline shape. So you're gonna go ahead and hook that from the head of that shrimp, pulling it all the way through towards the tail because that water catches it while you're trolling, that's gonna start whipping around in a circle and uh, you don't want your shrimp to fall off. So you wanna get a little bit more of that meat. So let me get my kicker going. All right, everybody, so you see how I have that salad shrimp hooked? It's sitting there kind of waving in the current there and giving off a ton of scent. And that's it again, like I said before, that's the best part of these salad shrimp is the amount of scent that the, these things put off. And it's just, it's a tasty thing that, that trout always love is any kind of shrimp scent or shrimp itself. So I'm gonna send this down, wait till I hit bottom, pull up at a crank or two, and I'm gonna set it in the rod holder and troll it along here. All right, everybody, well, those are my three favorite ways to use this salad shrimp to try to target these trout. It's a really easy thing to go stop at the store and pick up on your way to the lake or pond. And again, it's gonna be one of those special tricks that you have in your back pocket forever. So do not forget to try it. Get some of those salad shrimp in your box and go out and have some fun catching fish. If you guys like today's tutorial, be sure to go down in the links below and look at our page of Dick and Fishing. There's all kinds of trout tutorials in all different species from all over the world. And it gets you guys out and learning more about how to fish. Drop us a little like below. 
hit us with a comment whether or not you've ever used salad shrimp or any kind of raw shrimp to catch some kind of trout or a salmon species even. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you guys see more of these videos coming out every day. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. Stay fishing. We'll see you out there.